learn the uh, or explore the uh, step module of Abacus. In Abacus, the the whole analysis is generally uh, divided into several steps. Let's say we have a structure and we want to uh, apply some load on it or some thermal condition on it for a particular amount of time and then probably release uh, the load for a particular amount of time and then observe what happens. And uh, let's say uh, we do it uh, for a number of times and the total time let's say one second, and every time we apply the load, let's say the duration is 0.2 seconds, and we do it five times. Um, so uh, 0.2 times five, uh, it will be one second. And uh, the, let's say for the releasing, it also, uh, we do it five times, and uh, it's uh, 0.2 times five is one second. So the total analysis will be for uh, one second loading and one second of um, unloading and in total. So we can actually, uh, we have to define several steps to uh, quantify, uh, to define it in a quantified way, like how are we applying the loads and unloading them. And uh, for that, we have to define several loads and we have to come to the one. So for this, we have a part uh, kind of uh, a slender uh, beam. And uh, we have also assigned uh, properties, random properties and uh, assigned sections. And uh, we have uh, defined the assembly containing only this part. And we have come to the step module. When we create a step, uh, currently we do not have any step uh, I mean, uh, only the initial step, which is uh, by default created before defining any other step. And when we uh, try to create a step, it will ask for the name and it will be inserted after the initial step. And we have to select the type. It could be general or linear perturbation. Linear perturbation is uh, for uh, some particular type of problems uh, like uh, natural frequency extraction. Uh, or uh, other problems associated to linear perturbation. The general is kind of a uh, versatile definition of a problem procedure type. And based on what we are uh, selecting, we can see that the options are changing. Like for linear perturbation, we have several options. Like uh, if we want to calculate buckling or frequency or static linear perturbation, we use this, or we use general for the other uh, type of procedure like uh, heat transfer or static general or viscoelastic. Let's say we want to proceed with a static general step. We click continue. We can write some description up and we have to define like how much time period will be assigned for this step and uh, whether we want uh, geometric nonlinearity on or off. If we expect geometric nonlinearity, we have to turn it on, otherwise, it's uh, uh, to keep off. And incrementation is that how we would like to uh, distribute the application of load uh, in terms of time. So uh, we can apply the load in uh, a number of increments and, the, and we can set the increment size. That is, uh, initial would be one and uh, the minimum would be this. So if we click OK, we can see that now there are two steps. One is initial and one is of a created step. We can um, like make modifications to it or we can do it from here from the manager. We can see uh, there are two steps here. Initial and step one, we can do edit and uh, make necessary modifications to it. And uh, when we uh, create a step there are two output requests created. One is field output request, and the one is history output output request. You can also access them from here, the managers, field output manager and history output manager. The field output manager, uh, we can see that the, it's created at step one. We can edit it and see um, 
field variables will be uh, extracted during the um, analysis and uh, saved as uh, saved for the uh, post processing and uh, result analysis. Generally, we want these kind of values: stress, strain, displacement, force, contact. There are also several options, and we can do it for whole model. Or we, if we created some subsets uh, containing some particular regions we are interested in, we can select set. And uh, frequency is very important. If we uh, if we want to um, log the data, that is these variables, um, we don't want to collect too much data because it will like generate a very long log file containing so many data. So we can like increase the number. Uh, let's say we have 1000 uh, increments uh, during the creation of the step, as you remember. Uh, and we want to, let's say, uh, want to log the data every 10 increments. And from the uh, history output, we can see that energy uh, is actually selected. We can uh, also select like subsets of these if needed, or select the other options. And um, the same thing, um, apply for history output as field output request also. We can do it for whole model or some particular sets, and we can also change. So this is okay. Now what happens is that um, we can actually go to the load module and uh, apply the loads at different step and we can define like how the loads will be propagated, whether it will be uh, from the initial to the end of analysis or uh, be confined to a particular step or not, which we will see in detail in the lecture on the uh, load module. 